Hello and welcome back to the next episode of The Preacher Life. Well, we are continuing on our series of a deep dive into the Bible and continuing to look at the Ten Commandments. We are now in the Fifth and Sixth Commands. And with the Ten Commandments, they are basically in two sections. So one through four are our relationship with God and five through ten basically go through our relationship with other people and five and definitely six go that way as well. So let's read these and we are in Exodus 20 verses 12 and 13. Verse 12 is the fifth commandment. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. And sixth command you shall not murder. So both of these seem pretty straightforward and sure, okay. But when you look at them more in depth, you can see that they do contain a lot more. So let's go with the first one. Fifth commandment. Honor your father and your mother. Well, at first glance, this one may seem like something to use for you know little kids or teenagers that you know they are supposed to respect their parents which is correct they need to do that but we also can um, we also have to remember this commandment as adults as well. So how do we do this command if we are no longer living with our parents or even if we are you know older and an adult and still living with them like some strange people. Well what um, we do for this command is that we respect our parents especially in the way we treat them and talk about them so we don't gossip about them or say oh my parents did this or that but we can always give them respect and also for more advanced years such as those that are maybe elderly and 70s 80s, 90s, or even beyond, we still need to honor our mother and father by helping them in their advanced age, with whatever that may be. If a point comes that they are in a nursing home or something of that sort, being sure to visit with them and caring for them as needs come. So these are ways that we honor our parents. Now I know in some families that parents have sinned against their children or others that uh, there may be problems such as uh, drug or alcohol abuse or anything of that sort. And no, you do not want to encourage a sinful lifestyle with abuse or anything of that sort, especially. But we always need to respect our parents. We don't need to um, for don't need to condone or. Say that action they did is good. 
but we still need to give them respect that is due. And it can be a hard thing, I know, but it is what we need to do to honor this command. So, moving on to the next one. You shall not murder. Okay, pretty simple. Don't kill anyone, right? Okay, done. Eh, not quite. Well, first, yeah, the obvious is do not uh, lie in wait and kill someone. That's, you know, something easy. Mm. Where the case is that, say, someone is sinning by breaking into your house and robbing you and maybe hurting your family and you have to act in self-defense well that's something different that isn't just lying in wait and murder that's help that's protecting your family as you should and we obviously don't want such situations but it's what it is for an intention. However, this is one that Jesus also talked about, and we'll see that in Matthew 5. So, Matthew 5 is part of the Son on the Mount. And this is when Jesus was speaking to the Israelites about various topics. I didn't know. This is the thing about using the actual Bible instead of this on my computer. I can't just click from one passage to the next. However, I got a lot of people that uh, said they'd like to see me up in my chair, which I do too. All right. So I get one page to turn here. Alright, we're now at Matthew 5, verses 21, and we'll go up to 24. Well, up through 24. So remember the commandment that we read was, You shall not murder. And then let's see what Jesus says. You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, you fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there, remember that your brother has something against you, leave your, leave your gift there before the altar, and go your way. First, reconcile to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. So Jesus further defined this command in that it is not only our physical actions that are judged, but also our thoughts and intents as well. So if we harbor hate at someone, uh, let's say that someone has done something against us, like I said a bit ago about 
parents that are abusive or that kind of thing. Harboring hate against them is also the same as murder in our hearts and just consider breaking the law. So we need to remember that not only to honor God in our deeds but also in our thoughts. This can be quite the challenge, I know. Say uh, we see it frequently anymore with things like road rage that someone gets cut off and they're fuming about it and retaliate by reckless driving and that kind of thing. But uh, working to honor God and follow the commandments is something we grow into for our life and we continue to strive to please Him more. But that is it for today. In our next episode, we will look at our next two commandments and then we'll just have one more week. So that is all for this episode and thank you for watching The Preacher Life. Bye for now.